A new diabetes treatment that could delay the start of the disease is now being offered here in Oklahoma. I got a chance to talk with a Tulsa family excited about the drug and a doctor who says it's a huge step in the right direction. We found out the hard way, which was she went into diabetic ketoacidosis. She came very close to death. A life-changing moment two years ago when Shane Saunders and his then 11-year-old daughter, Bay discovered her type 1 diabetes. It's hard for people to understand that it's a 24-7 disease. It is constant monitoring of blood glucose. It's administration of, of insulin before you're eating and all day long. Saunders told me in the two years since Bay's diagnosis, they've seen things change for the better including a breakthrough treatment, T-Zield. What T-Zield shows is that we're making progress every day. And as we learn more about this disease and how it affects people, it gives us hope that a cure is right around the corner. While it won't work for 13-year-old Bay, who's in stage 3 of type 1 diabetes, it could make a big difference for those with the early markers of the disease. It's the first big step we've really had uh, for before this illness in, in quite a while. Dr. David Sparling both treats patients with diabetes and researches it. This is the first time ever we've had really truly a new drug that might uh, slow the progression of type 1 diabetes. The FDA approved the drug in November 2022. Just recently, OU Health finished the first 14-day infusion shown to delay the onset of type 1 for about two years. Ultimately, what t provides is time, and that's the most pre precious commodity of them all. For the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, they encourage testing as soon as possible. We need to identify you before you need insulin. That means that you need to be screened so we can detect the earliest stages of type 1 diabetes, and that's when the drug is available for intervention to delay the destruction of those insulin producing cells and the need for insulin. For doctors and parents, they hope it's just one step closer to a cure. The CDC says more than one and a half million Americans are living with type 1 diabetes. We have more information about testing over on our website, kjrh.com.